Godfrey Gordon Gustavus Gore. No doubt you have heard the name before. Godfrey Gordon Gustavus Gore was a boy who never would shut a door. The wind might whistle, the wind might roar, and teeth be aching and throats be sore, but still he never would shut the door. His father would beg, his mother implore, Godfrey Gordon Gustavus Gore, we really do wish you would shut the door. When he walked forth, the folks would roar. Godfrey Gordon Gustavus Gore, why don't you think of shut the door? They rigged up a shutter with sail and oar and threatened to pack off Gustavus Gore on a voyage of penance to Singapore. But he begged for mercy and said, No more, pray do not send me to Singapore on a shutter and then I will shut the door. You, you will? will, said his parents. Then keep on shore, but mind you do, for the plague is sore. Oh, a fellow that never will shut the door, Godfrey Gordon Gustavus Gore. By William Brighty Rands Roar, make a loud noise, aching, paining. Implore, to beg or plead. Forth, out or forward. Rigged, provided a boat with sails or and other sailing equipment. Shutter, flat wooden board, to pack off, to send. Penance, an act to show repentance. Singapore, an island country in Southeast Asia. Plague, curse. Say aloud, in the title of the poem, Godfrey Gordon Gustavus Gore, the sound of G is repeated. Listen to the following phrases or sentences, then say them aloud. Kim's kids kept kicking. Larry likes looking at leaping leopards. Nina's knees needs new notebooks now. Underline the sound or sounds which is or are repeated in each line. The river rushed rapidly over the rocks. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. The beautiful bouquet blossomed in the bright sun.